Hi, hello and welcome to Designer by Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create interactive slides to display information. An example of that would be an information kiosk that you might have seen in airports or mall providing an interactive map. When clicking on each of these icons, it would show shops at each locations. You might have also seen this in the TV, mainly for weather forecast with different locations or during election times to provide results in different areas. You could use this type of presentation wherever you have information in segments or chapters. For example, teachers could create interactive slides to teach different topics. If you are in a corporate world, you could use it to share project roadmaps. These are just few examples. I'm going to share two different techniques that can be used to create these interactive slides. This feature is supported in PowerPoint as well as Google Slides. All right, let's get started. In this first example, I'm going to show you how to create the interactions using action buttons. When you click on the shapes menu, the bottom most section has all the action buttons like go home or go next, previous and many more. From this list, select the previous action button. Click anywhere on the screen to place the button. This opens up action settings box with pre-selected options. Optionally, you may select a sound to play. Now repeat the same to add the next slide button, last slide button and home action buttons. PowerPoint also provides option to move to any slide with a blank button. You may use that to navigate to any random slide or even to another presentation. Once all the buttons are added, you may format these action buttons to decide size and shade. Now let's see how this works. As you might see, this helps in moving the slides in sequence more like a book. But to make it more interactive, that allows you to move from any slide to any slide, you should use the second technique. In this second example, you will have a common slide content that will be used for navigation. Here, you will notice that on the left side of the slide, I have a map with few Safari tour locations. This half remains on all the slides. The right half will be used to show the details of each selected tour location. I have created few slides with the content, but I have one slide left to show you how this is done. First, add a location icon and position it appropriately. Here, I am changing the color to match all icons here. The icon would be in red on the respective slide that has the details of the selected tour. That tells the audience which is the active location selected. Select the image icon, right click and select hyperlink. This opens up a box for slide selection. You may also add a screen tip that appears when you mouse over the icon. Once all the location hyperlinks are created, you simply Copy over the left half of the contents to all the slides. I have made the content little transparent. To create that style, go up to the format menu, select gradient options. Here, select the pin and set the appropriate transparency level needed. Change the icon color to red to denote active selection and add the location name. On the right side, add details about the Safari. Now let's see how this works. You can click on any icons and see the details. As the left side of the content is same across all the slides, this allows you to go from any slide to any slide. A 
I hope you found this video helpful. Unleash your imagination and create your very own interactive slide. Do like this video, smash the subscribe button and hit the bell notification. See you in another video. Bye now.